Hey guys, I'm Tyra Kopstock and welcome to my channel. I represent Frontline Academy and I'm a student under Eduardo Teta Rios. I'm a full-time Jiu-Jitsu athlete and instructor and I created this page to share my techniques, training and Jiu-Jitsu journey with you. Feel free to like and subscribe and welcome to the family. Os. Hey guys, welcome to another intermediate course here and today we're going to go through some retaining of hooks from the back mount. And so today is going to be a little bit of a fancy way of retaining the hooks. And this is also a way to uh, go for a north-south choke, um, Kimura. Uh, there is ways to go into a couple of different positions from uh, this technique. So uh, starting off from the back mount here with Christian. and. First, we're going to talk about the grips here a little bit. So, let's do this side. I'm good on this side. So, what I'm going to do here is not necessarily the gift wrap grip, uh, grip. I'm now going to go for the pinky grip here, and I'm going to go as deep as I can with this other arm here. Okay? So, I want to be gripping his shoulder as deep as possible. So, now we're going to talk a little bit about what if he starts escaping while I'm holding this grip. So, Let's just take this side first here. So we're just going to turn around a little bit. So what you're going to notice is he's going to try to uh, go over my leg here and defeat the uh, lower hook. And so naturally, the first thing I would try to go for is the basic one that we did earlier this week, right? But sometimes you lose the top hook as well, okay? And what happens then is you kind of end up in this middle thing where you don't have any hooks, but you still have the control of his shoulders and his arm, okay? So this is where we're gonna start to play a little bit. And so, a little bit here. Watch how I'm always behind his neck here, okay? If you want, you can go for a collar grip here as well. That works nicely, but I really like grabbing the shoulder if you can, as this kind of gives a really nice wrap and defeats him from breaking the grip most of the time. So here, watch how I'm still keeping this pinky grip and I'm almost like a pillow for Christian here, okay? I'm on my belly, but it's really hard for him to go anywhere, okay? So now I wanna come up. And when I'm coming up, I'm always trying to look over to the side where I have my arm around his head, okay? So I'm gonna walk with my knees here, okay? And so now I can throw my first hook in and go and then the second hook, okay? Same thing happens here. He's gonna escape. I lost my first, uh, my top hook here as well. That's fine. I'm gonna go belly down here, control this position. If you can finish the choke here, that's awesome. Honestly, I've never had any success with it, but you can. So here, I'm gonna walk myself up, pushing, pushing, always having pressure behind Christian's neck here. And if I have the choice, I will never, ever go this way. I will always push to the other side, okay? So now, back, <laughs> because here I can always retain the second hook as well, okay? If I'm walking over this side, most likely I'm gonna lose his head, and it's really hard for me to get that first hook in, okay? So, on this side, nice and easy, Get that first hook, and then the second, okay? So, a little bit of a special way. One more time. So, let's take this side. He escapes, I lose the second hook here as well. I come in and always push here and back in again. So, a little bit advanced, but it has helped me quite a bit, uh, knowing that there's still options when you've lost both, hook, both hooks, but you still have the control of the arm and the neck. So by definition, uh, it's, it's easy to think that you lose the back as soon as you've lost both hooks, but as long as you have the control behind somebody's shoulders or behind their neck there, you can still work your way around, right? Oops. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here and we're gonna do the north-south choke from the same setup. So starting here in the back mount where I'm losing my hooks, but I still have my grips around his arm and his head here. So boom, walks, and we're coming around here. We're coming into this position here, okay? A lot of the times you'll feel 
that Krishna is pushing his head backwards. So he wants to bring his head down to the mat. Okay. And that is a very natural reaction because he feels the pressure that I'm putting uh, to uh, push his head forward. So he was going to want to try to push against it. When I'm walking up and I feel he's pushing to the back with his head, that's when I'm going to slip my shoulder and let his head go to the floor. Okay. As soon as this happens, I'm now going to try to catch his head here with my arms. So I'm going straight over his head. Boom. Okay. Make sure that your ribs is on the side of his chin here. Okay. So I want to make sure that I'm really wrapping his head beside my ribs here and getting my arm as deep as possible. Okay. Watch how I'm still controlling his arm here. Okay. This gives me choices and also this gives me a little bit of control. Okay. So this way, he's only going to try to defend with this arm here. So if he's going to wrap this or I'm trying to wrap and he tries to defend, right, now it's kind of late and then I will try to go for a different attack. But if I do time it well, so we're here, he pushes his head down and then it's too late for his arm to get inside or try to stop me from choking him. Okay, now we're going to turn around 180 degrees. Here we go. <laughs> and still in the same position here, right? But now his other arm is kind of useless because it's hard for him to defend when my arm is so tightly wrapped. But you'll see my hand is ready to be caught on this other side here, okay? So at some point, I'm gonna let go of his finger here or of his palm, and I'm gonna go and grab my hand here, okay? Just let it go a little bit. So I always like to point my palm down here, the arm that's choking, and I put it inside my other hand here, okay? This way I'm gonna go now tight with my elbow to my body, and this allows me to get even lower, right? Some people will have the elbow sticking out like this, but now I feel you're not gonna get as low as possible. So by bringing your elbow tight to your body, watch this, you're gonna go so low that you can bring your forehead to the floor, and once I'm, in here so i let go of his palm i grab my own palm and now i can start going for the choke here okay so to get the choke i want to pressure down with my shoulder but i also want to walk a little bit in towards him so here and squeeze so i'm in down with my shoulder here i'm gonna start walking myself to even like get this close space even tighter right so i'm here Boom, 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 and then squeeze, okay? And by squeeze, don't try to pull the guy's head up from the floor. Uh, by all means, try to more push yourself down towards the floor. So you want to use the gravity, not work against it, basically. And just for a little bonus, like I said before, so what if he manages to grip my arm with his other hand and there's no chance for me to wrap it around his head? That is fine. It, most likely this will happen, right? Especially with guys that are more higher level and they know what's happening. So here, you're gonna have to keep working up and change for a Kimura, for example. Perfect setup, here we go. You have the Kimura, the classic one, but you also have all the other wonderful submissions from that position. So uh, you will have to kind of recognize whether or not you're actually catching the North South Choke I mean, some people do have really skinny, tiny necks and they're hard to choke. And yeah, you might wanna change up the tactic a little bit. Well, thank you guys for watching so much and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, please like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to another intermediate course here. And this week we're gonna go through how to retain the hooks from the back mount. So this is specifically when uh, your opponent is defending and removing your hooks from the back mount and then you want to bring them back inside so that you can keep controlling and attacking from the back mount. So we're just going to start off with a really basic way of controlling here. And this is perhaps one of my favorites where I'm going to be grabbing his uh, palm here right below his pinky with the arm going underneath his armpit, right? Like this. This is a very nice grip that kind of bends his wrist backwards and makes it really hard for him to remove it, okay? My other hand is gonna go right across his throat and I'm gonna try to catch his shoulder or his delt or his trap, if I can, and keep this control here, okay? 
Of course, if I can choke him, that would be perfect, but most likely they're gonna have their chin inside or there's gonna be some sort of way that they're defending, right? This is fine too. So I'm just controlling here, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about, yeah, let's take this side. So we're gonna talk about what happens when he is removing my hooks, okay? So now he removes both of my hooks here. So I'm losing both the bottom hook and I'm losing the top hook as well, okay? And this way now, it's hard for me to retain like I used to do if you watched the beginners uh, course earlier this week, okay? So now I'm gonna walk myself back all the way to my belly here. So I'm gonna be like belly down, but still keeping the control behind his neck, around and controlling his uh, palm here, okay? This way, I'm always making sure that he will never get his neck down to the floor, okay? So now, I'm gonna walk myself up towards Christian, okay? And I'm always gonna try to lean onto the side where he, his head is, okay? If I go to the other side, it's gonna be super easy for him to push my elbow up, and I'm gonna fall or be removed from his back. So I wanna make sure that I'm really controlling him over to this side. Now it's gonna be easy for me to get that first hook on top and then bring him back in like the original recovery, okay? So let's take that side again. He walks over, I lost it, that's fine. Boom, here I am. Walking myself up, Ooh. get that first hook, and there we go, back inside. Let's say if he goes to the other side here. Okay, I lost both hooks. Back in here, belly down, boom, first hook, and there we go. I get the back knot. So the whole principle is having the control behind his neck here and keeping that shoulder like a pillow there all the time, right? There's gonna be some uh, fights coming up from that position and that's when we're gonna hit some submissions there as well. Awesome. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here from uh, the position that we've been working. So already, let's say, boom, here, he's going out to the side and I'm coming into this position here, okay? So once I'm here, there is of course a fight where Christian is gonna try to bring his head to the floor here, okay? And that's the reaction I'm looking for in this scenario. So I'm gonna be walking usually a little bit up towards him and I'm gonna feel that he's pushing back with his neck and that's when I'm kind of letting go and letting his head slip down, okay? So now I'm gonna catch his head with his arm as deep as possible, okay? Make sure to time it before this arm can get in. So if he can grab your bicep or something like that, then it's not gonna be tight enough, okay? And then we have to have a different attack for that scenario, okay? So now I got my arm all the way wrapped. So now if he tries to bring this arm in again or try to defend, it's gonna be really hard for him to take my arm away, okay? So this is perfect. Once I've had this established, I can start setting up the north-south choke. Let's move over to the other side. Scoochie, scoochie. And so I was here, boom. I let his head slip. I caught his head, boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my grip from his palm to my own palm down here, okay? And I'm gonna make sure now to grab my palm with this one turned downwards, okay? So I'm gonna be here. This way I can go really low and bring my forehead to the floor here, okay? Make sure that my ribs are beside his chin here. So I'm really putting pressure on the side of his head as well. Some details here. So. This palm is pointing down, this one is catching it, okay? My elbow is not flared like this. This is gonna keep me quite high, so I wanna bring it tight to my body so I can get as low as possible. I want my shoulder to really put pressure on his neck here, and I'm gonna bring my ribs closer by walking almost like a clock, but in the opposite direction, so counterclockwise, in towards his neck, and then still creating pressure, okay? so. From this position, boom, I let go of his hand here. I'm grabbing my own palm, and now, making pressure, I get the choke, okay? Now, what happens if Christian managed to grip my hand 
uh, or my arm and he's making it hard for me to go around his head here. That's fine. It's going to be difficult to always catch it, especially if you're fighting higher level guys, they're going to know what's happening here. Okay. And so now I'm just fighting to come up, force his arm forward and switch to the Kimura grip here. Okay. A lot of different attacks from this position. It doesn't have to be the classic Kimura, but definitely a good choice to go for in that kind of scenario. Okay. So you are going to have to be ready to see if, uh, if the choke's not working, let's say the guy has a really tiny, like straw neck, then you might have to change for the Kimura anyhow, right? Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.